Uh, just a quick little update on how I make a note on the uh, 49 Mercury. I uh, went and scratched up the uh, airbrushed iron cross that I put on the sides. So actually, it blends in with the uh, the body pretty good now. Actually, I'm really happy with that. And I got the motor pretty much done, and uh, still working on the frame. But I ran uh, the alternator wire, uh, starter wire, and uh, spark plug wires and whatnot, and uh, got that mounted in. Got most of the frame rusted up. if you can see it but uh, yeah did try to get as much detail in there as I could um, first time attempting running brake lines I'm happy with the front the back so so I'm still kind of working on the back but uh, yeah it looks pretty good um, what I found I was trying to, when I was going to do the T-fittings, I tried drilling out uh, a piece of the sprue. I got it right here. Alright, so there's the sprue I drilled out and uh, turned into a T-fitting. Now when I went to put that on, I noticed like, it's not really uh, a realistic size. So what I did, I went and took Let's see if I can find it to show you. I took and uh, soldered the wire together. I left enough solder on. Uh, I can't get a good shot of it. Anyways, I left enough solder onto it that I could actually take the solder and cut it and turn it into the T-fitting. And uh, cut it down to size. That way you can cut it as small as you want. And uh, it's actually a lot smaller than that. And uh, I just found that a lot easier for making the T fitting than, and, and more realistic size too. So, just an idea for you guys. When I did the frame, I was trying to keep it old, but any parts that you would put onto it to make it safe, if it, this was a real car, like all the front end parts, you want all that. Brand new, and you're not going to use something that's been kicking around for years. So all the linkages and everything in the front, brand new. Exhaust is brand new. Uh, pumpkin cover is brand new. I figured they probably changed out the fluid or it was leaking or whatnot. But everything else they wouldn't touch, right? So as for the actual interior, I'm just about to start it. I got something planned. I'm hoping it'll turn out. Um, if not, I'm going to have to repaint it again, but we'll see. So I got everything mocked up, nothing's glued on the interior, but uh, I'll be uh, painting that up today, so we'll see what happens. I'm still working on the engine compartment, so I can get a good shot. Everything's kind of beat up and weathered. I'm going to show you underneath. be pretty good. Um, originally I was doing it for a model show that was coming up I believed to be in uh, the fall and it turns out I was wrong and it's coming up in the beginning of March so I got a lot of work to do because I had uh, four or five I wanted to do so I'm hoping I can at least get this one done one more. But the hole underneath is totally rotted out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with what little bit of black. Um, the big strips, the frame goes up onto them, so you won't be able to see them, but... Yeah, not too bad. Still got some details I want to do on the firewall. But, uh, yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, it'll be pretty sharp when I'm done. Still want to put a decal in the back window. I'm just not sure which one I want to put in yet. But, uh, 
yeah, just thought I'd give you a little update on how I'm making out with it, and uh, I got a little surprise for you if the interior turns out the way I want it to, and hopefully you'll be able to see that later on today, or hopefully within the next couple of days.